So, um, in the time we have left before the the big break, uh, I want to do another demo, and we have a volunteer who, at this point, is familiar to all of you. Uh, so, are you up, are you still up for it, Liam? Yeah, absolutely. But I, I, I must, <laughs> I must say that it, it's interesting how I got to volunteer because I had we had a person on Monday that was going to do the demo, and so they they got they you know for lots of different reasons they decided against it, and then we had an, I had a replacement, and then I got a call from the replacement last night that. Again, for different reasons, they couldn't do it. So, I'm, I'm tour choice. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't have to do it, but if you're up for it, I'd love to try and help you with something. Absolutely. I, I, it was, <clears throat> excuse me, it was an interesting process when I found out last night that I was going to do the demo because I was kind of checking in with my parts, how they felt about it. And I had, I had one part that was delighted because I worked with you before, Dick, and, you know, there's some trust built and there's some relationship built. And this part is, is very, is very keen on getting me out there and has probably pushed me a lot in my life. So I'm very grateful for that. And this part sees part of healing as, as being seen mm -hmm. and being seen as being vulnerable. So, so that part was really happy about it. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking, which part am I going to work with? And three parts were were kind of very evident. So the first part is a part that I I know but probably don't know that well. But it's a part to me that carries a lot of rage. Really a very high level of rage. And this part was actually very active last weekend when I had a conversation with somebody and it was kind of a misunderstanding and I went out for a walk afterwards and for the whole six miles I could just feel the level of rage and, and with this, this part I get images as well, images of, of being attacked mm. and that the only way that I can defend myself is to bite the person. Mm -hmm. And then there was two other parts that came up um, that are that seem to be part of the same kind of trailhead. One part is that um, we we did a bit of work the last time, and it's the part to me that really when when I do come into the context of being seen, that this part wants to be seen as competent. Mm -hmm. This part wants to be seen as kind of articulate, mm -hmm. but, but the part is, is kind of really terrified that I'm going to be seen in a, in a different way. Mm -hmm. And with that part, then it is like there's another part when, when this part, when the first part, then that I just spoke about there, thinks that I'm not after doing a kind of a good job, mm -hmm. or that I might be seen in a less than ideal way. And this other part will come in. It's, it's kind of mocking or kind of shaming and kind of really would say, you know, what appear to be very nasty kind of comments. So, so that was the tree. And, and I think what, what I'd like to kind of continue working with when I was, check, when I was checking in is the part that when, when I come on something like this, that the part that feels very kind of threatened and that wants me to come come across in a very particular way. Okay, well, there's a lot in, in what you just said, uh, in, in a number of different parts. So, uh, 
Is there one of those you'd like to start with? Yeah, I'd like to start with the part that um, that feels very threatened okay. in, this, in this kind of context. Yeah. So, because that might be an exile, Liam, just check and see if there are parts that are afraid to let us go to it. We might want to check in with any of any parts that are afraid first. I guess um I guess um I get one part that comes in that that and said it was actually the other part that I spoke about, the part that says I'm going I'm going to kill you, you bastard. Yeah, should we start with him then? Yeah. All right, so focus on that one and find it in your body or around your body. Yeah, so very much watching my chest. And as you notice it there in your chest, how do you feel toward it? Um, I feel I feel open enough to it, and as I, as I, as I notice being open to it, I, I notice it increases in intensity. Okay, is that okay? Yeah. So welcome it. Let it know it can be as intense as it wants, and uh, just see what it wants you to know about wanting to kill whatever it's saying. What just see what it wants you to know about all that. Yeah, so it, it so it wants me to know that um, what I'm doing is very dangerous. What you're doing right now or in, in your life? What I'm doing right now just being, being kind of yeah. visible. Yeah. Yeah, so let it know we're hearing that and we're going to be really careful. But ask it more about what it's afraid will happen if we continue and maybe go to that part that feels so threatened. This, this, this. There's three things that come. They kind of come fairly quick. Um, first thing is that people will laugh at me. Yeah. The second thing is that people will hate me. Mm -hmm. And the third thing then is um, It's kind of warning me that, um, that 
there was other people in my family, in, in particular, my biological grandmother, who, who went very emotional. But my my biological mother, my sorry, my biological grandmother, who was very vulnerable at one time in her life, and because she expressed her vulnerability, she ended up in an asylum. So it's kind of warning me that if I'm vulnerable and if I'm if I'm seen, then there's a chance I'll be locked up and that the people will think I'm mad. Okay. Does that make sense, Liam, that the part would be afraid of that? Yeah. Yeah. So let it know we're going to take its fears seriously. And I'll speak to the first two. Um, and I can't speak for everybody watching, but I can tell you that I won't be laughing at you or judging you or um, hating you. I'll just have admiration for your, your courage to do this, to go to these vulnerable places. And those parts are very welcome in my presence. Uh, and I suspect that's true for everybody else, but I can't speak for them. And then regarding your grandmother, is there anything you want to say to this part about that? Well, I want to certainly thank the path for letting me know that. So I guess my question then is, do you, Liam, trust that if we go to that threatened, vulnerable part, you're not going to wind up in an in institution? Yeah, absolutely. So could you reassure this part about that? And let it know we would go there, not so it would take over, but so that we could heal it. And, um, and you would feel some emotion, but you wouldn't be overwhelmed. I could make sure that. And then we could help it feel a lot less threatened. And then everybody could calm down. But we're not going to do it without this part's permission. So this one is the boss. It feeds a, feeds a lot of calm on Okay. So is it okay with it if we, if we go to the threatened part? Yeah, I when you when you asked that question, um I got a real kind of tightness in my stomach. As if my yeah. stomach was going up onto my ribs. And it was real that was kind of really kind of afraid of going to that path. Because and what I got was that if 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 we go to that path, that, that they'd kill that path. 
If we go to that part, what did you say? If, if they go, if we go to that part, then there's a kind of fear that that part to be killed. Be killed by outside people? Yeah. Yeah. And ask more about why this part thinks that might happen. I get that, um, that and if, I presume the you is uh, you, Richard. It, it's like you, you don't understand how much people hate this part. Uh huh. Yeah, well, I, I want to try to understand. So, um, so Liam, does this make sense that this part would believe that people hate this threatened part? Yeah, so again, let it know. You can understand why it believes that. Maybe yeah. ask it ask it this question. Ask it how old it thinks you are. I get I get back a um, fairly spontaneous kind of angry reaction. It says, You're only a fucking baby. Yeah. So let it know when you were very young that you get there was that danger, but let it know how old you are actually and see how it reacts. Really, kind of settles again. Say it again. It, it things settle down. Down, yeah. Yeah, let it know you're not living in a situation with that kind of danger, but you get that you were at one time. Yeah, that's helpful. And see if it'll give us permission now to heal that threatened part. Yeah. All right, and just see if there's any other fear about going to it before we try and go to it. There's, there's another path that came in. The other part says um, they they'll kill us. We're we're all dead. And just see what it means by that. What that's about. It, it has some it has some fears that it's it's showing me in kind of images so I, I get kind of images of babies being chopped up and being thrown into a kind of a fire okay and maybe ask it more about where that comes from those images
they get um, a bit of an interesting kind of response. It, it, it says, from hell. From hell. Mm. Okay. So is it saying that you, that it's been there and it saw this happen or that it learned this in church or what's it saying about hell? Okay, so I get more information now that it the part shows these images to other parts to keep them quiet. Yeah, yeah. So it, it tries to use the, the fear of hell yeah. to control the other parts yeah. and hold them down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so ask it, though, if it would let us go to this exile and heal it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's more openness to go now that there's... Good. Good. So how would you feel now, Liam, about going there? Yeah, I, I feel much, um, much more open to going there now. Good. So focused on that threatened part and find it in your body or around your body? seems to be um, kind of different areas of my body. Mm -hmm. So it's very much around my mouth. Mm -hmm. So my legs. And as you're noticing it, how are you feeling toward it? I, I can, it's, I can feel that it's kind of taking me over a bit. Is that okay I, or is it scary? No, it's okay, but it's, it's like, does it, it's like a kind of a trance quality to it. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so let it come this much. Let it come as much as it wants. But tell me how you feel toward it. Yeah, I feel, I feel open to it. I can feel it coming more and more in. Good, yeah, just welcome it and see what it wants you to know about itself. It's telling me um, how afraid it feels. Okay. Yeah. Let it know you're getting that in a physical way. You're feeling a lot of its fear. Yeah. And see if it wants you to know anything about why it's so afraid. It 
so afraid because it feels people hate hate him. Yeah. And that people see kind of thinks that he's in danger all the time. Yeah. Okay. And from what I was hearing from other parts, it sounds like it's stuck in a time where that was actually true. Yes. Yeah. Right, Leon? Yeah. So let it know you get it has real reasons to feel so threatened, but that we're going to get it out of there. It doesn't have to live back there. How's it doing now? Is um it it feels more it feels more safe to be here now. It feels I, I feel I experience I experience him in a different way now. Good. Yeah, how do you feel toward it now? My heart feels very open towards him. So let him know that. Let him know you really care about him. See how he reacts. It's kind of shaky. It's hard for him to trust, or what? And if it's very, um, very new to anyone with Lockman. Yeah. So we're just going to hang here for a while until he starts to trust it more. Just keep letting him know how much you love him. And how close are you to him in terms of meters away, would you say? Fairly close to him. Good. Yeah. So let him know both with your words, but also if it's safe enough to just comfort him. He's not alone anymore. Yeah, big deep breath. He feels he can breathe. Yeah, he can breathe now. Yeah, if he wants to move your body, he can do that however he wants. It's really great, really great.
It's really great, Leo. However he wants to move your body. How's he doing now? A lot of um, just tension coming it just into. Tension, what did you say? Just a lot of tension coming in just to the back. In his back? On my back, yeah. And just see if that's from him or if that's some other part. This is part of what he wants you to get or if this is another part. It's, it's him. He just wants to let me know how, how constricted he was. Exactly. That's what we want. We want him to really let you get what he went through. Physically this way, if he wants to show you scenes or anything like that, he can do that. Feel sensations, feel emotions. We really want you to get how bad it was for him. How terrified he was. That's great. Any noises he wants you to make, just let it happen. Whatever noise he wants you to make, too. And we're just going to stay with this as long as it takes until he really feels like you get it. You're doing good. This is really important. You're doing okay with all this, Leo? Yeah. Yeah. So just let him know. We know he's waited a long time to be able to do this. So we can give him all the time he needs.
he he seemed surprised. He he said he he's surprised that he didn't die. Yeah. Yeah, it's great that he didn't die. He was really welcome here now. Do you understand why he's so surprised that he didn't die? Let yeah. him know you did that. Keep it going. How does he seem now? He feels um, really kind of can't believe how much space there is. Oh, that's great. And the, the contractions are getting less for him. Mm -hmm. Really great. And ask him if he is feeling like you're getting this, like you're really getting how what he went through. It does. Okay, and ask him if there's a particular place in the past he's most stuck. There a, a scene or an age or yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to share that with us, or you want to keep that private? It's um, it it's where I was born. It was um, it's it's called Bezborough, where it was a mother and baby home. Mm -hmm. So that that comes when I ask him, that comes very clearly. Uh huh. Okay. So Liam, I want you to go to him there and be with him in the way he needed somebody. And just tell him when you're in that home with him. Yeah, I am. Um, How are you being? I'm, I'm, I'm in the home. And I'm holding him, but I can, I can feel the rigidity coming into his body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just hold him, letting him know he's not alone anymore. You're there. How much you love him. You're not going to hurt him. You're just going to take care of him. Yeah. 
it gets it gets less rigid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just stay like this until he trusts it more. But you can also ask if there's anything he needs you to do for him back there before we take him to a good, safe place. Kind of, it's kind of interesting because when, when you asked that question, another part came in and said, burn the fucking place down. We can do that. <laughs> How would that feel to this infant? Wouldn't be, wouldn't be that for it. Wouldn't be what? It wouldn't really be for burning somewhere down. Okay. So tell that part, we understand why it wants to do that, but we're going to do whatever this, this young one wants. And just see if there is anything he wants you to do back there before we take him somewhere. Well, I guess um, to check on his mother to see that she's okay. Okay. So why don't you do that? You can see if there's anything he wants you to let her know before we take him out. He, want, he wants her to know that he loves her. Yeah. And that, he's, that his heart is broken, that he can't be with her. Yeah. Okay, good. And see if now he is ready to leave that time and place with you and go to some place he'd enjoy. He's like he's holding on a bit. Okay, what's his reluctance? Ask him. That he that he'll never get to see his mother again. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so let him know you can take him back there sometimes, but you're going to be taking care of him. You'll be kind of a mother to him and a father.
Yeah, if he's, if he's open to that. Okay. Then let's take him out of there. It could be to the present with you, or it could be to a fantasy place of his choice. And funny because he said, he said straight away that it's to the present because he's lived enough in fantasy. Right. So let's bring him right to you there. Just tell me what he's there. Feel him, yeah. Good. Yeah. And let him know he's safe now and you are going to be taking care of him. And uh, see if with that he's ready to unload all this terror and whatever else he's been carrying from back there. Yeah, he's open to that, yeah. And ask where he carries it in his body or on his body. Very much in his stomach. Okay. And ask what he'd like to give it all up to. Light, water, fire, wind, earth, or anything else. Water. So tell him to let all that go out of his stomach and let the water take it out, take it away, take care of it till it's all gone. It's great. Just keep it going. All out. Just get it all out. No need to carry any of this anymore. Yeah, keep it going, it's great. It's really great. Mm -hmm.
That's great, Leon. It's a long time coming. Just keep that going. Get it all out. How's he seem now? Very hot. Hot? Yeah. Yeah. Have him check his stomach and make sure he got all of it out. No need to carry any of that anymore. Yeah, it seems to be all gone. It's a, a new kind of sensation on the stomach. What's the sensation now? Kind of just more space and kind of a just really nice kind of feel, nice feeling of that my stomach can actually move. You're good. And tell him if he wants to now, he can invite into his body qualities he'd like to have, and just see what comes into them now. Love. Great. How's he doing now? Things are a lot clearer. Uh -huh. That's great. Okay. And let's invite in the three protectors we met on the way there that were so afraid of us going to him and any other protectors that want to check them out and just see how they react. And if in a bit in a bit of kind of shock. Mm -hmm. that they, they can't believe that he was, you know, kind of so visible and that nobody tried to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, good. And they trust that he's safe now? Yeah. Okay, and tell them they can start thinking about new roles now. It might be they have to, they are other exiles that need their protection that you need to heal, but if not, they can start thinking about what they'd rather do.
and they, they, they feel a bit exhausted. Uh -huh. So they maybe just want to rest for rest. a while. Yeah. So let them know they can do that. You'll keep an eye on things. So how are you feeling now, Liam? Uh, feeling good. I feel a lot, a lot of space in my body. Yeah. And yeah. So thank all these parts for their trust and letting us go so deep. And come on back outside when you're ready. Good.